The English Channel is one of the busiest shipping lanes in the world and one of the most treacherous bodies of water. For 150 years, it has been a symbol of endurance and determination. Few people have conquered the English Channel than Mount Everest. 32,000 metres of dark and choppy waters, battling hypothermia, strong currents, and dangerous debris. This swim is a mark of strength, teamwork, and willpower. How you doing? Uh, my name is Jack Bolzinski, and I'm swimming the channel. What we're trying to achieve from this is almost something that we've already done, right? We're bringing awareness to the Ukraine crisis, to Cancer Research UK. That was what we all came here to do. We've done that. Now the swimming is just the bonus on top for us to, to push it over the line. I'm excited to start this. I think there's definitely a lot of people that are counting on us to do really well. We have already raised quite a substantial amount of money. We have quite a lot of backing from individuals and sponsors. So I think that we'll actually use that to carry us through the swim and make this project a real success. When we were discussing the charities that we wanted to perhaps raise money for, something that really came to mind for me was uh, cancer research as Cancer, unfortunately, shows mercy to no one, I've realised, and it's something that my parents in particular have been experiencing the effects of. Um, they've had friends that have been diagnosed with cancer, one of them very close to them, very close to our family, uh, unfortunately passed away due to bile duct cancer. Uh, can you imagine? Can you imagine working your entire life looking forward to spending retirement with your family and your loved ones and then getting that cut away from you. When you're hit with a sledgehammer like that, it kind of put things into perspective. And for me especially, it gave me the motivation to want to to do this, to swim the channel, you know, it's it's a small gesture towards something a lot bigger than us. I think it's going to be a, a huge challenge mentally to complete the swim. We're all going to be battling with demons when we're in the ocean. I think the thing about being in the open ocean by yourself in the sea is trying to just focus on why we're doing this. and understand that the pain is only temporary but what we're hopefully going to achieve is going to be worth it all in the end the start point's going to be at sampire ho this morning whoever starting i did put the name down but i'm so the charity that I've chosen to raise money for is threefold. All of them are going towards the crisis in ukraine currently what life is like for ukrainians is right, wondering if they're gonna survive the day, the night, if their families are gonna survive, if their moms, dads, brothers, sisters are gonna survive. It's a genocide happening at the moment. Every day we see pictures of houses leveled, fields burned, loved ones passed away, right? I mean, no one knows how it is except for those people in Ukraine, but on the outside looking in, we're losing our heritage. So, a little bit about my grandfather. His name was Walter Blazinski. He was born and raised in the western part of Ukraine, the Carpathian Mountains. He was one of five, and in early 1940s, when the Soviets were advancing into Ukraine, he fled through Switzerland into Italy. From what we've been able to find, he was the only surviving family member between two sisters and two brothers and himself. Uh, from there, he emigrated into the UK. And if Ukrainian refugee camps didn't exist when my grandfather fled in the 40s, I wouldn't be here. 
We're just trying to amplify those messages and show us that even if you're not directly affected by the world's tragedies, you can find a voice within yourself to fundraise, to help people, to volunteer, to do anything, right? We want to inspire people who aren't directly impacted to still do their part. What's great about us being in a team of five is we have each other to rely on and each other to support as well. I think that when it gets tough in there, when it gets cold, choppy and we become quite tired, knowing that your four other teammates are on the boat supporting you, cheering you on, wanting the best out of your swim is really going to help our mental focus and our whole morale of the swim will hopefully stay nice and high because of the support that we can give one another. One of the biggest challenges of the swim are the outside factors that we can't actually control. We are going to be super prepared and super confident in our own abilities and our preparation, but there's things such as weather, current, climate and environment that we can't actually control and we're going to have to just make sure we can do everything we can to make sure the swim is a success on the day. I think this experience is going to teach me and has already taught me like just how important consistency is. Not being afraid of taking big risks. Um, this whole year for me was about you know, stepping out of my comfort zone and achieving something new. And, and this is something that we were doing on the side, but is now becoming something that I can really be proud of moving forward and something that I think is going to... I don't think this will be the last of meter by meter by any chance. I, I think that the... the the way that this is going and the way that the vision that we have for this and for everything like everything that's going to come after is, is pretty impressive and pretty pretty special you can just find a flat rock behind there bloody sharp rocks here as well dad Done! Done! Woo! Yes, well done. Woo! Right, Dad. Dad, what, what are you going to do? Brilliant job, boys. I'm not sending back to that boat. No, jump up. Oh, sweet. Right. Oh. How does it feel? We did it. That's that. Feels good. Yeah! yeah. You did it, boys! Oh.